Hello YouTube. Well, this is the pit I've been digging. Me and my dad. My grandad's been helping too. And as you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's it's about there. It's uh, six foot. Uh, so well, just just shy of six foot deep. Just enough to kneel down in. Well, to stand up in and uh, be underneath the car. Have the car roll over the top of it. Do some work on it, under ceiling, welding, whatever. Be great for when I get the, uh, the, the Fiat Panda 4x4, which I am going to get, just when. Have my dad said he's going to help me out with it, uh, cost wise, which will be nice. For uh, for doing this anyway, because he wanted it as well. Yeah, um, a bit of a pain to do. You've got to really feel for those pipe layers and people who have to dig out in wet conditions, windy, or out in the environment. Not very nice. Yeah, really bad. Uh, really hard to do. But yeah, um, I'm I've got a load of a load of mud out. We've got some board in there to put over the hole. So I've been from walling down it. Got the hose pipe going to uh, try and clean it up a bit. Just been trying to clean the area with the uh, with hose. Let's say the uh, the sludge around here, the stuff you're digging out, it's all uh, it's all clay, really thick, horrible clay, and uh, there's like layers of it, and in between layers, there's this really really hard stuff. We call it uh, scarry. I don't know what the proper name of it is, but it's really really hard stuff. It's like rot. But it's only uh, like a few centimeters thick, and you can dig through it with a spade, but it's hard to do. I have to keep looking at me at my uh, phone. I'm using a phone to record this on Sony Ericsson X10 Mini Pro. Uh, I haven't really got a camera. I can't really afford it, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> like I say, a few of the guys on Fiat Farm I think wanted to see what it was like. So uh, that's it. So it's uh, the pits off at an angle because uh, we we've, we've had to avoid pipes and things that are underground. A um, couple of things uh, with it, it's maybe awkward to get a big car in, like, so we've only got a gap there between the freezer and various other things, and then I could just wheel out. We've got a gym and stuff and everything, multi gym. So that's my dad's restoration project. It's not complete yet, but it will be soon, hopefully. I can't remember what bike it is, Yamaha or something or other. It's not an old one, it's uh, 2001. But it had been abused its whole life, so we dad's sorting it out. But yeah, all we've got to do is just uh, chip the edges off now. Uh, so there's some bricks and stuff stick, uh, still sticking out. Uh, and hopefully then we will just concrete the base. All the base will be uh, nice and concreted. Well, wow, my phone. Oh, I've got the light on my phone, that's why. Um, say so it's really dark. I've got no idea how this is going to come out. Don't even know if it's going to come out any good. If you can see what, uh, anything on it, because it just seems so dark. Hopefully, I can use the uh, the YouTube editor and uh, brighten it up a bit. Maybe. So we've only got one one fluorescent light in here at the moment. We've got to put another one in. We've got three in there. So if you remember, that's where I did the. Um, that's where I had Jacob's ladder. Uh, when I did that experiment, about half the width of the door we had uh, ooh, lovely arcs flying all from a car ignition coil uh, with about 40, 40 volts going through it if you can remember, uh, that was on my old YouTube channel and it's a shame that went because I had loads of video on that with electronics and stuff on it but it was a shame, that was back when I was in college nowadays I can't really bother to do any of that kind of stuff but yes um, that should be it. Hopefully, the next video I'll do will be with the concrete bot bot bottom in. I'll uh, I've got some pictures of this as well to upload to Fiat Form. And uh, yeah, because imagine come out tomorrow and if it, if it rains tonight, all oh, this will be full of water. It's, it doesn't really matter that much. We've got, we've got a pump somewhere, electric one we can stick in there. But uh, it'll be a bit of a bugger when if uh, if it happens, then we've got to concrete it. So yeah. Time will tell. Ah, there you go. That's the stuff. That's the stuff we're getting caught in. That stuff there. We call it scurry around Derby. And it's like clay. There's a really thin layer of it. But you hit that with a... You hit that, it's... It's really hard stuff. You know what I mean? 
it's like um, asbestos sheeting. It's not asbestos, but that's what it's like. As you can see, there's little crystals in it. I oh, can't really see. The camera's not very good. I'd love to invest in a decent camera, but oh, I can't afford it. If I did, I'd, I'd definitely do a lot more videos. When is my old channel, probably more. But yes, that's that's about it. You rambling on constantly. <laughs> that doesn't make for a very interesting video, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. But yeah, I've got a. Uh, I shouldn't really eat in this, but I've got a lovely kebab when I get inside. Loads of green mint sauce. I shouldn't have it because I'm trying to lose weight, but. Oh well. But yes, that concludes this uh, this little bit of a video. Just just to show you how deep it is, there's a spade at the far end there. I don't like I said, got no idea if you can see it. But uh, wow, on the edge of what? But yeah, there is a spade there. So it is pretty deep. What's there? Could get down into it, I suppose, and show you. There we go. That's me in it. Wow, this camera's really bad. But yeah. That's it. Oh, look at that. We've got a leak. It's all dripping in a lot. Running down the concrete. I'll have to turn that hose off. That's going to be a pain. Oh, well. That concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching, people of YouTube and of the world and wherever. Uh, yeah. I'll hopefully get some more videos of it up soon, some more pictures and other things. Thank you very much, YouTube. Peace out.